He is speaking here at the Edmund Burke Foundation, National Conservatism. And of course, he's going to talk about LGBTQ plus people. And he's essentially going to throw his entire community under the bus. Not the first time he's done this. Won't be the last time. But either way, what he says here is just genuinely disturbing. And it's like cutting off your nose to spite your face. Like he's only hurting himself by associating with these types of people and trying to, you know, um, pay, pay lip service to them. Let's watch though. I know plenty of gay people that are horrified at what is coming out of the, the gay community now. I mean, name three, name three, who's horrified out of what's coming out of the gay community. So do you think he's going to cite any specific examples? Probably not because it's Dave Rubin. Um, but horrified what is the gay community doing like i, I don't I, I don't know like what are they doing trying to survive trying to exist this year we've seen record anti-lgbtq plus legislation especially anti-trans bills across the country and don't blame the oppressors blame the oppressed like this is some victim blaming bullshit and, and what are you even talking about specifically hopefully he'll go into a couple of examples just so that way we know what he's like maybe referencing but I mean, just real disgusting shit to say about your own fucking community. Truly horrified, because in many ways it's setting back a tremendous amount of progress. The, the progress of equality, the progress of, okay, you can enter the same contract that uh, a heterosexual couple can, and now you can hopefully live a life that, that, is, that is sustaining. You know, the, there, it's ironic because there's a huge conservative argument, I think, actually, for gay marriage. I, I lived in West Hollywood in, in L.A. It's, it's sort of the gayest place on earth. I mean, the crosswalks are rainbow it's too much frankly um, <laughs> um, <laughs> i i cannot handle the fakeness of these motherfuckers why <laughs> that's besides the point but i just can't so fucking fake but there's nothing sadder to me than when you see you know this a, a 70 year old guy that's spray tanned and fake hair it sounds like Trump, but that's not what I mean. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, works out all day and carries his little dog and, and has nothing to live for other than that. And, and maybe being on the hunt still because he couldn't engage because 50 years ago, the world was very hostile to him and couldn't. Wait, 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 hang on a second. First of all, to talk about someone else with a spray tan, this shoe, are you not plastering orange on your face as well? But, like, you're literally making an assumption about somebody based on just, like, seeing them on the streets. Oh, well, this, like, one old gay dude that I saw who has a fake tan and his dog, he has nothing to live for. What? You're making all of these assumptions. Oh, he's probably on the hunt, cruising for dick nonstop, 24-7. He's just always looking to get laid. You don't know anything about this guy. We could say the same thing about you, Dave Rubin. Why are you better than him? And even if that were the case, who gives a shit? Because fucking freedom, isn't that one of the principles of conservatives? If you want to go get laid 24-7, fine. But you're making this assumption about this poor guy, and you're just, like, coming to all of these broad, sweeping conclusions about his life and the w worthwhileness of it uh, based on, like, seeing him. We're going to make these types of broad assumptions about other people? Like, what a fucking piece of shit. Jesus Christ. And, and has nothing to live for other than that. And, and maybe being on the hunt still because he couldn't engage because 50 years ago, the world was very hostile to him and couldn't then get in a relationship that would be the thing that conservatives would want, even if it wasn't exactly the relationship that conservatives would want. So I don't. So now you're saying that conservatives would want him to be in a gay relationship, but he's not in one because that was previously vilified. Your relationship was vilified. You didn't have the right to marry until less than a decade ago. And now you're claiming that conservatives, who the majority of them in the House voted against marriage equality, don't know if that's going to pass the Senate, would want him to be in a gay relationship? No, Dave Rubin, you absolute fucking moron. They want him to pray the gay away. They want him to go to gay conversion therapy. Where are you getting this? Like, he has this weird, like, sanitized version of conservatives in his head uh, that makes it seem as if they're, like, altruistic and accepting of gay people. When they're not, they fucking hate you, Dave. They hate you. And they hate gay people. They've demonstrated that time and again. So what are you even talking about here? 
And again, remember I asked for examples at the beginning of this video? His example was, oh, well, you know, people are outraged because the uh, rainbow sidewalk in LA or West Hollywood, wherever he said, and a gay dude who has a spray tan with his dog who has nothing to live for. That's your examples. That's why the LGBTQ plus people who you know, the many of them are horrified at what's happening with the gay community. Just what a fucking clown, a craven clown. Want. I actually don't want those things taught. I think that, that Douglas can probably explain this a lot better. I mean, the, the tea thing has completely uh, just dysregulated the entire conversation here. But The tea thing meaning trans people? They've dysregulated the entire conversation? He knows being trans is not a new phenomenon. Even if gay rights specifically have advanced further than trans rights, these have always been one movement. Trans rights and gay rights, these are parallel goals, right? So you're pretending as if, oh my god, everything was copacetic until the transes came along and fucked it all up for us gays. Um, actually, no. I'm sorry. No. That's stupid. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. Ask yourself, why is it that conservatives dislike both gays and trans people? It's because of the same exact reason. If you are born a certain way, you're expected to behave a certain way. There's a gender ascribed to you even before you're born. You know, you're supposed, if you're born, you know, uh, with a penis, the expectation is that you act masculine. You like the color blue. You wear pants and you act tough and strong and you're exclusively attracted to women and you exclusively date women. Both gay people and trans people violate these gender norms, and that's why there's discrimination against everyone. Hence, the need for a collective LGBTQ plus community, because we all trigger conservatives for the same exact fucking reason. I think in many cases, it's like we have to be able to separate when you're talking about that carve out. We have to have that carve out. I, and I would say, I no, we will not have that carve out. It's all or nothing. You don't get to uh, treat the LGBTQ plus community as the fucking buffet where you can choose to pick one group and disregard the other. It's all or nothing. That's the way it is. Because again, the root of the discrimination, the root of the bigotry stems from the violation of gender norms, which both gay and trans people and non-binary people do. So no, you don't get to disaggregate the LGBTQ plus community. You're not an authority. You don't represent the entire LGBTQ plus community. Fuck off, Dave Rubin. I would be a little worried. I'm still a little. Course, I'm still a little worried. No, of course, of course, you're worried, be because, because what I'm asking you to do is to be willing to consider. I mean, I'm talking in, in a dialogue, in a negotiation, but to be willing to consider. Uh, stop it right there. Willing to consider in a dialogue or a negotiation. Okay, how about this? We do prayer in schools. You get mm, the right to marry. No, bitch, this isn't a negotiation. You're going to shut the fuck up and history is going to drag bigots like you kicking and screaming into the future. You know, no thanks to Dave Rubin, who's trying to keep himself and his whole community in a state of, like, discrimination uh, and just um, constant harassment by homophobes, as he's experienced. A, uh, something other than the, the maximal dream scenario yes i fully accept in, that in right? order to, in order to create in maximal dream scenario of full equality what i just like what what's the maximal dream scenario here bud in order to give the christian majority the, the possibility of running a christian society and Christian Oh, so we're, when we're talking about uh, dream scenarios, you know, not for gay people, but giving the Christian majority the authority to run a theocratic society, that's when, you know, you have to make some compromises with us. Areas, right? that's, not only do I accept that, I, would, I will be very clear, I would strongly prefer that public schools teach the Old Testament and the New Testament rather than drag queen story hour. So, Wow, so Dave Rubin just said he'd prefer what this religious theocrat said. A version of Christian society. Um, and Dave, I promise you, you don't want that because let me tell you what the Bible says about queer people. And you know, you just said you'd prefer that the Old Testament be taught in schools as opposed to drag queen story hour. But what does the Bible tell us about homosexuality? That they should be put to death.
Now, you can find a bunch of other contradictory verses in the Bible. Thou shalt not kill, a bunch of other dumb shit. You know, you can't wear clothing of mixed linens. But Dave, are you sure you want that? You might want to be careful what you wish for, because in a theocratic society, not only would your children be taken away from you, but if these dipshits had their way, they would stone you for being gay. So, he's this man is literally, with a straight face, saying, I welcome this theocratic society, because I think that conservatives... Would, um, I guess, not stone me? I mean, look, if it's not apparent to you by now that he's saying all of this specifically for a check, I mean, it never will be because he doesn't believe this. Dave Rubin doesn't believe this. Dave Rubin is a grifter and he's saying what he needs to say to get the conservative seals to applaud so he can keep cashing that check. But it's so gross and craven. I mean, look, he bought a mansion he probably has millions of dollars. When is enough enough? I mean, is this the world that you want to raise two children in? Where they think that their parents are perverts and disgusting and less than? Is this really the world that you want? I just, like, this is so gross. Dave Rubin is one of the most disgusting, morally bankrupt people on the internet. And this is why he's like the number one grifter in everyone's minds because he will say anything and it's just so gross as long as it gets clicks and money he'll say it 